Axiom Lab Innovation Summit 2019. So AI ML is something that we always think it's good, it's cool, but we are not ready there yet. It's, it's great, but we'll plan for it later, right? But we fail to realize that AI ML is something that we do every day. There's not a single thing that we do without uh, an AI ML. So the recommendation system of Netflix, we all use Netflix, right? And it said that 85% of the movies we watch are recommended. We don't search for them. And many more, Uber, nearest car, the time taken for the car to arrive, they're all um, um, uh, ML libraries that come there. Okay, and of course, nothing is completed without Google. Google does ML everywhere. We feel, oh, it's, it's not for me, okay, I do um, uh, payroll processing, I do healthcare management, it's probably not for me, right? We're not there yet. How is it relevant to me? How can I apply uh, machine learning and AI into my business? So we've got six levers. These are all things that solve business problems, right? And, and these are all patterns that are well-known, established, um, uh, and a lot of tools and techniques available which can get you started right away, right? Um, the classification of scoring, like, which customer will not pay my bills? Which customer doesn't have the money? Regression is how many, how many products will my customer buy next month? Segmentation is, I have all the customers, I don't know how to group them. Forecasting, of course, um, what, what's, what's going to be my uh, next quarter, what's going to sales and revenue and things like that. Um, recommendations, we spoke about Netflix, I'll talk about it a bit more. Um, uh, which product to offer to which customer, what kind of services, should I do a price discounting, should I, uh, uh, should I upsell, um, is there a recommendation of sorts, you know, what, what, what is there, that's, that's all there. And of course the last two, um, NLP, computer vision, audio video analysis. So let me give you some use cases of um, applications that we've discussed with the customers, built uh, products around these, um, uh, right, or consulted on an AI ML um, application. Digital consultation. You take a video of your pet, in case the pet is sick, it's always sleeping, it's got rashes, whatever, you take a picture or a video of the pet and send it to the doctor, right? And the doctor will see the video and try to fix up an appointment or suggest. That's phase one. Phase two is there could be something critical, serious. You take a video, upload it, immediately tells you, oh, this could be uh, condition of this, it could be um, uh, something else. You know, you, it, it gets you a real-time uh, assessment of how serious the ailment is. Medication management, oh, I have a headache to, uh, today and I have the same headache yesterday at about 10.30 uh, p.m., what do I do? You know, things like that. And it tries to um, uh, compute, manage, and say what, what can be the uh, next course of action, right? Um, and of course, there is, there is uh, uh, just not healthcare, it, it segues into multiple other uh, areas as well. It could be uh, uh, buying my grocery, uh, to, uh, um, uh, to, to, to going for a walk, uh, and things like that. So, so it's, a, it's, it's completely AI-centric application that we're building uh, for this uh, customer of ours. So we're doing a POC uh, with, um, uh, so what we're trying to do is we're trying to get the video feed from CCTV and trying to see how many hours an employee, doctor, whoever that is, sits on a seat. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> it's technology, <laughs> not micromanaging. So, so that's just the first level. I mean, uh, the, the first level is trying to identify if someone is sitting there or no, right? And then, depending on the quality of the video that comes in, you then decide, can I see it's Ramesh or Suresh that is sitting? Services industry, okay. Um, appointment scheduling. You're driving in your car, I wanna get a haircut. It tells you, hey, in the speed that you're going and the place where, it's, where, where it is, you'll take about 10 minutes. If you reach in 10 minutes, you'll have to wait for three minutes for your haircut, right? Oh, okay, I can't wait for three minutes. Oh, by the way, if you drive for five minutes this side, you'll find a, uh, whatever, barber shop where you can get your, uh, you, where you should just wait for one minute, right? So, um, so this is, this is an interesting use case, but if you could just think about it on appointment managing um, across various industries, right? So everywhere you got people waiting. It could be at the hospital, it could be um, in my gym, in my tennis court, um, uh, to cut my hair, right? So, so that's an interesting way to think on how to handle or solve an appointment management problem.
Customer satisfaction. So this is really uh, um, probably spoken about more than anything, which is like doing sentimental analysis, right? So we have a lot of tools to go and uh, uh, see through what's happening. And, and we, kind of, we kind of go and figure out, if someone's actively talking about it in multiple forums, we think he's a potential customer. One way, which is your um, uh, text-based NLP. The second thing what um, uh, uh, Kinesh always talks about is you get a customer service call, right, through your, into your IVR, into, into your call center, and he says, hey, your product sucks, it's not good, I want to replace it, I, 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 I came out with this problem uh, last week, you guys didn't do anything, right? So imagine a time when this guy talks and immediately the system understands, oh, okay, the tone, I see him wherever he is, okay, go, <laughs> right? <laughs> it's okay, go, or okay, go, <laughs> right? So when you understand the sentiment, all right, this customer is kind of pissed off, Let's, let's get to the next level. Oh, probably you're talking to a, a rookie there, right? If it can upgrade your call to the next exec, right? Imagine what you can do with um, uh, customer satisfaction. Uh, let me go to the last one. Data extraction and creation. People don't like to fill forms, right? I know what I want to do. I want to take off tomorrow. Don't ask me what is your name, second name, email ID, phone number, from day, to day, number of days, reason, um, uh, any other backup. You know it all. Believe it or not, even today we have at least 10 projects running where we are automating large forms, large forms, right? Really large forms. There's a lot of things that you could do with prediction. And AI ML is today, right? It's not in the distant future, right? Um, Kinesh always says, if you're not thinking AI ML, you're already late. Axiom Lab Innovation Summit 2019.